Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you why I think everyone should have a planner. So if you're interested, keep watching the video. So when I was in middle school, we got planners and the beginning of the school year from the school to keep track of our homework and our, you know, assignments, exams, all those things. So fast forward to me going through high school and even college, I did not use a planner. I kind of just wrote notes here and there randomly. I had a Blackberry, I think, during college, so I would put things in my Blackberry calendar. But I didn't have a planner. It wasn't until a few years ago I got a job where the first thing my manager told me that I needed to do was to get a planner. And it wasn't for the job itself, it was like for my life. like. As an adult <laughs> and I was like okay and I've had a planner ever since then and it has completely changed the way I organize my life so I really think that it can be helpful to everyone so now people have their preferences on what type of planner they want to use some like physical calendars that they can hang on the wall the dry erase ones a lot of people like using their phone for me I personally like using a hard copy paper planner where I use a pen, write things down and cross it off as I get it done. I've tried every other method of planning and this has been what has worked the best for me. When my son was, I believe, seven or eight months, that is when I went back to work and I went back to school. I put him in daycare and there was a lot going on at one time. So I needed to really, really have things scheduled and planned out well so that I wouldn't forget anything. There's this thing called mommy brain. It is very real. You forget a lot. Like literally if I don't write it down, I probably will forget it. So I need to write it down. The number one reason I think that everyone can benefit from using a planner is just to stay organized. Just to keep everything that you have to do out of your head and onto paper or into your device or onto the wall, just out of your head but somewhere that you will look at and remember that it needs to get done. Another way that I feel like using a planner will benefit your life is helping you with time management. So for me, what I do is usually on Sundays, I write down everything that I need to do for the week and then every night. I try to write down what it is I need to do the next day and then in the morning I go over the list again so I try to get as much done on my list as possible early in the morning I tell everyone and it's not even a joke by 4 p.m. I'm kind of like done for the day so if there are things that I need to get done I need to get them done as soon as I wake up I need to start working on it Another reason why I think having a planner is beneficial is because it will help you to live more intentionally and to actually give purpose to your days. And the last thing I love about using my planner, especially writing things down, is crossing it off once I've finished it. And it gives a nice boost of confidence because you have a feeling of accomplishment and you've gotten something done, even if it's something small like do the laundry. Whatever, you got something done that day and, you, and it leaves you feeling productive and like the day hasn't gone wasted. Of course, there, are, there should be days that we have absolutely nothing to do and can just relax. It does not always happen, especially when you have a child. But when you do have those rare days, take full advantage of it. But the rest of the day, live intentionally and write things down, stay organized, manage your time and doing all these things will help you to get the most out of the life that you're living. So I'm just going to show you my planner really quickly because I'm in, in love with it. This is a Moleskin planner. I ordered it um, online and it is uh, just a regular weekly planner. So this is how the days are laid out. And what I do is just draw a little box, write out what it is I have to do, and then check it off once it's done. If it's not done that day for whatever reason, I will cross the whole thing out and move it to the next day. And I will keep moving it until it gets done. It doesn't just go away. That's how I like to do it. One day I fell into YouTube's hole of planner, planner, what is it called? The planner world, I don't know, but it's crazy, stickers colors and it was just like cool to watch but so overwhelming for me I like to keep my planner nice and simple and have everything written out clearly for me to see 
So yes, just like my boss recommended to me that I get a planner, I recommend that everyone has some kind of planning device and intentionally write down things that you need to do that day. So this might sound a little out there or whatever, but I don't believe like there is there is a universal meaning to life. I believe that we give our life meaning and do the things every single day that are is going to leave the world a little bit better, a little bit brighter. So let me know what your favorite way of planning out your day or organizing your day is. Do you use paper? Do you write it down? Do you use your phone? Do you use a dry erase board? And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to live light, love heavy, and be well. And I'll see you next time. Bye.